Morning everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor and in today I'm going to be doing a review of my scent of the day and that is going to be Coffee and Whiskey by Bath and Body Works. As you can see, I've already got a pretty good dent in there. I'm going to go ahead and give myself an application. So this fragrance was just released this year in 2022. It is a... Um, it's a cheapie, which is awesome. You can get it MSRP right from Bath & Body Works for $39.50, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, the shipping from their website is pretty high. It's like 10 bucks, so you're gonna be paying close to 50 if you get it from there. But I was able to get mine off of eBay for $34.99 uh, with free shipping. And then Bath & Body Works also runs uh, sales on their men's line frequently. I actually saw it come down to 20 bucks uh, from their website at one point with the $10 shipping, so you'd be paying $30 uh, for this. At, and then they also run other deals like buy three, get three, so a lot of people got this functionally for $20, even though they had to spend more than the 20 while they were there. Um, so yeah, brand new release, 2022, cheapy. Um, I would dare say niche quality in the sense that it doesn't smell, it doesn't have that Tonka base that's ubiquitous in the modern releases that we have today, and it's, it, it's unique in that I haven't smelled anything like this, and from what I can tell, the reminds me of section in Fragrantica also is getting very contentious in that there's not a lot of things that capture this very well. Uh, I also think this would be a great gift idea for the upcoming holiday season if you wanted to get this for somebody. Uh, that being said, I think it's rather unisex, if leaning a bit masculine. Um, I, I think any age this works for, but I think it leans a little bit uh, youthful because it's got a lot of sweetness going on. Uh, uh, the scent itself is really soothing. Uh, it's got a nice burnt dark roast sort of coffee that's really natural and realistic, photorealistic coffee scent. And then while they only list coffee and whiskey as the two notes in here, the whiskey accord is imitating like a Bailey Irish, a Bailey's Irish cream. And so that accord has a lot going on. Like I, I'm picking up a little bit vanilla, uh, caramel, some spices, um, maybe some Gayak wood. It comes off really dusty. Uh, so. Um, if you've ever smelled Memoirs of a Trespasser or most of the fragrances from the Imaginary Authors line, this has a little bit of that dusty old library kind of texture to it. Like, not so much the scent itself, but just the texture of how it's coming off. Um, Kenzo Jungle also has a little bit of that dusty quality to it, although the two, as far as scent profile, are very far apart. Uh, people I can see wearing this, like I said, I think it leans a bit masculine, but it's perfectly unisex. Um, I think teachers, librarians, people that work in academia, this is going to be good for them. Also a barista, obviously, well, this would be a great fragrance for them if they're not uh, sick of smelling coffee day in and day out. Uh, people that work in retail, I think this works great for as well. Um, Occasions that I would wear this, like obviously today it's November 1st, it's a little bit sunny out, but pretty brisk. Um, so yeah, outdoors, bonfires, football games during the fall, um, uh, holiday dinners during the winter for indoor occasions like Thanksgiving, I think this is going to be really great for that. Uh, I obviously love the scent, I've got quite a dent in here, I wear this pretty often. Um, it smells... Uh, to me, like if you've ever s had those like old people candies, like Cream Savers or Werther's original hard candies, like if you got a coffee and cream version of Cream Savers and ground it up into a powder and blew it into the air, it also has a little bit of this minty quality to it. Like I don't know if actual mint is the right descriptor, but it's it's cooling. Like there's a very cooling quality to it. Uh, also very creamy. So like they, they nailed the Irish cream aspect of this, like the, the, the Baileys and coffee scent profile really well. Um, atomizer's not the greatest, uh, kind of, I don't know if you can see it, just sort of 
pretty straight. It doesn't spread out very far, so you have to be, I would recommend kind of getting back a little bit so that way the cone can give you a good dispersal. But uh, yeah, I mean, for under $40, this is, I think, a must have. The Bath & Body Works also discontinues their fragrances fairly frequently, so I'd recommend picking this up uh, as soon as possible because there's no telling how long we're going to have it. Um, longevity, this lasts a really long time. I would say probably in the ballpark of six plus hours. Um, I actually sprayed this in my car and could smell it the following day on the fabric, so I think if you put this on clothes, you're going to get all day out of this. Projection is pretty monstrous in like the first half an hour. Like it gives you a really nice big blast of that creamy, cooling coffee, uh, dry roast coffee sensation. But uh, after about that half an hour, it dies down pretty quickly and then becomes uh, a little bit of a skin scent. Although I pick up wafts of it throughout the day, like I feel like I get more of the fragrance in the air than when I come up close and try to get it off skin and dig my nose into it. Um, so I might just be, it might be something that you go anosmic to rather easily. There's a few fragrances I have like that, uh, kind of like Versace Till and Blue that happens with me. I tend to overspray it and uh, get complaints instead of compliments sometimes for overdoing it. So I think this is maybe a fragrance that would fall in line with that. But I don't think you're ever going to get a complaint with this. Like if you spray the whole bottle on, I don't think it's going to be too overpowering. It's very, like I said, it's very dusty, so it's it doesn't really overwhelm with like a syrupiness, which is uh, something else that I really love about this fragrance. It doesn't have, like, it's not synthetic at all. Like it has such a very nice, natural, um, warm, warm yet cooling at the same time. Like I said, there's like a little bit of that minty quality coming in with the Irish cream. So yeah, dusty, uh, warm, cooling, creamy. Um, like a little bit ambery too, I think. Uh, let's see, yeah, I mean, if I had to recommend uh, picking up, I, this is so good, I would recommend getting a backup bottle, I don't currently have one, but the the pace at which I'm burning through this, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and grab one soon. Um, fall and winter staple, I think it leans a little bit more into the fall, uh, but like I said, works great for holiday parties, and it's, uh, yeah, do check it out. Um, I don't, it's cheap enough that you wouldn't need to sample it. Just go ahead and get the full bottle. If you've got a Bath and Body Works store nearby, maybe you can sample it there or get a better deal than ordering offline and paying like the $10 shipping. Um, but yeah, uh, looking forward to hearing, uh, your views on this one. Let me know if you've tried it out, uh, how the performance is for you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.